how to get the direct experience that i am universal not something limited to the this creature the human body human being which experience will actually show it show the universality so the universality is mostly inferred but it is supported by the direct experience you see the existence is synonym of universe or you can say all the universes you need to answer this question that what is the essence of the existence so experience is the essence of the existence existence means that which is universal isn't it that which is only present the experiencer is the whole then it is universal then you need to show that the exist the essence of the existence is the experiencer and then automatically it is the universal because existence is all that is the witnessing ability in the existence is its essence just like the essence of a table wooden table is wood not anything else not the shape it takes or not the polish or the paint of it it is the wood if the wood disappears nothing will remain same way the essence of the existence is the experiencer if it is not it is removed there is nothing then how do we arrive at this it is the essence because our direct experience is existence means all the experiences being witnessed by the experiencer the screen that is the experiencer and the pictures that are coming and going is the experience now obviously how to find out the essence by removing that which is changing what is changing the pictures or the experience part is changing you remove it what remains is the screen the experience remains that cannot be removed you see so that is the essence of the existence it can be easily shown that the existence is nothing but experience plus experiencer that means existence is seen as duality and it is kind of evident that the experiencer can be the only essence of this existence and then it is proven then it is shown and there is one more thing that the question is asking how to get the direct experience of the experiencer now remember the experiencer cannot be become the experience an experiencer can be experienced not true not possible it must be inferred you cannot get the direct experience verification here because there won't be any experience of the experiencer whether local or universal or any kind limited or unlimited it cannot be experienced so forget about direct experience of it and the universal experiencer no no experience of it possible who will get it <laughs> you are that already you are the witness you are the experience you are the universal experience yourself you are the brahman so who is there to look at itself it's not possible is the direct experience is what that it is ever present eternally present everywhere omnipresent the law is that the limitedness of the experience does not conclude anything about the unlimitedness of the experiencer this is in the same category as the mutually exclusiveness of the experience and the experiencer which means experience cannot become the experiencer and the experiencer cannot become an experience in the same way limitedness of the experience does not guarantee the limitedness of the experiencer it does not say anything about the unlimited nature or limited nature of the experiencer this is the law is it even possible that uh, the universal experiencer through different view points is getting a limited experience so is it possible that it has also become local that cannot be proven that cannot be shown so there is this logical fallacy here concluding that because my experience is limited that means the experiencer is limited no is not possible another uh, metaphor is let us say you are standing in a room and it has windows on all sides four windows on four walls plus a door obviously so you are getting four views of the surroundings let us say front window shows beach sea coast the side window shows little bit of trees forests 
the back window shows your neighbor's house you want to close it and some other view from the other window so when you are facing one window it means you are getting a limited experience but that does not mean that you cannot get an experience of all other windows through all other windows it is possible and you are the only one who is getting all the views the windows themselves cannot view anything so this is another metaphor that the experiencer is getting all the views the creature cannot do anything about it it's not possible and you know what happens if you get all the experiences at once you will need the experience whole experience of the universal memory to even say something about the universality of the experiencer and if you get all these experiences all the uh, vibrations of the whole universe the infinite amount of it first of all it's not possible you know it cannot fit in the local memory as a human being you are trying to experience the whole universal memory impossible impossible anyhow it will be blank yes it will be blank the screen will show nothing remember the pinhole camera metaphor remember the thousand song metaphor that if you play thousand so- songs through one speaker you will hear nothing just the hissing sound om <laughs> that is the real om isn't it so all the frequencies at once impossible to get the verification of universality by hook or crook only way is logic only way is concluding like this that the essence of the existence comes out to be the experiencer there is only one experiencer if you want to prove the multiplicity if you want to prove more than one then you must count it you see this is the ancient logic there are many rules in this logic like this so one of the rules is you cannot assume the multiplicity of things unless you count it our logic should say they are multiple so you see it is impossible to count the experiencer impossible because it cannot be experienced you see only objects can be experienced and that also limited objects there are objects that cannot be counted for example the air or the water the air is all pervading your house now if you go to one room do you say i am in the air number 2 i am in the air number 3 now no there are no boundaries in the air and that also proves actually because we you never see the boundaries of the experiencer that proves that it is universal unlimited don't try to get an experience not not practical way <laughs> you need to use your intelligence all the laws of the logic when they are placed before you you will conclude only one thing that is the universality of the experiencer that it is not the personal experiencer you are the universal experiencer you are not only an experiencer you are the universal experiencer you are the brahman you are the existence this creature is nothing you see it cannot know anything if you are not convinced then please stop at unknowable no i don't know you can stop there this no, no problem actually no problem we do not assume that they are many it means you have counted them and nobody has counted it you actually you cannot count most of the things in this existence they cannot be counted for example magnetic field electric field and so on you all know the double slit experiment where the particle is no longer a particle now how can you count the electron there or photon it has become the wave now, how many you see when a scientist says that i am sending one electron through the slit totally wrong statement it was never one it was never a particle the particle is an illusion collapsing of one wave function to one possibility and that one thing will be called a particle or an object but totally false wrong statement it was always one all the electrons are one <laughs> just like all the air is one it is just electric field that is why you see pattern on the screen and the double slit so when you cannot count the most fundamental entity in the universe which is the fundamental particle how can you claim to count the objects nothing can be counted in this universe the objects are delineated by the you know it's an illusion by the senses when objects ends and the other starts this is the trick of the senses because they see a sharp change that's all 
and the object is isolated because of this change so it is the trick of the senses you see deception of the senses to isolate objects from each other there is no isolation it is one continuous universal memory now count that that's why i say it is one at the level of the memory also everything else is just phenomena in the memory and you can keep counting them that is not the truth that's not the truth you are not counting truth experiencer is not present in a location the locations are present in the experiencer so we cannot say it is everywhere we say everything is in it like this we say and that guarantees the oneness isn't it non existence of space or location lok guarantees the oneness because there is now nothing no where to go no no separation can be done because how can you separate things either in a space like manner or a time like manner there is no other separation is it possible no and that means multiplicity is not possible if there is if the non existence of the space is proven and it is already proven it is proven by ancient people it is proven by you and me and it is proven by the biggest of scientist most intelligent scientist they know it is not there non local everything is non local and that is the obvious thing you see in existence the locations or the extension of it is an illusion it's a double illusion you see just like time so we should not say like this that the experiencer is present in all locations no 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 we should say look wherever you are you will get this same screen of the experiencer it is same always the locations change the experiences experiencer does not move from the location to location the locations move in front of it this is our direct experience actually do the walking experiment walk and change your perspective to that of the screen where the picture is changing right now your perspective is what you are like a camera situated on the head of the body and when you walk from one room to another or you walk on the road you think as if uh, the camera is moving in the space but that is not the truth <laughs> that cannot be called a direct experience that is called assumption the truth is in front of the experiencer the scene is changing the scene is moving this is the experiment to you know, get rid of this concept that i am located the body is located you see that's why people because they assume i am the body they think the body is moving from one room to another or body is moving on the road body is moving in the car i am the body yes so i am moving i am not the body you see get rid of this concept and think of yourself as the screen on which pictures are appearing just like in the dream you know it shows very nicely what is happening when in the dream you are moving traveling uh, or running or jumping where are you are you moving in the scene never you are peacefully sleeping and the mind is imagining these things no nothing is moving there except pictures are changing but it does give you the illusion of space there it does give you the illusion of movement what happens when somebody dies since experience is eternal and omnipresent why experience stop through the dead creature you see the creature is dead that means it has become dead the senses are gone destroyed so through the creature the experience will stop that is natural isn't it that is logical will the experience itself stop let us say you are looking through a telescope distant scenery hills and lakes and all now suddenly the telescope breaks it turns into dirt it catches fire burnt you won't see the that scenery but you will see many things still you are still there isn't it same way and because the machinery is broken this creature is broken this will stop being the point of view and the other points of view are continuing there is no problem here this is what happens when somebody dies a point of view is destroyed so it is good no suppose you are stuck with the telescope for the whole of your life will you enjoy that have you for how many minutes you are going to enjoy that you whole life no same way the experiencer ensures i am saying poetically here the existence or the experiencer ensures that this machine dies so that it's not stuck with one it's a good thing and the death is complete you see 
why do we even need to say these words universality and existence is the experience because of this wrong notion in the minds of the people that it can be located it can be the experiencer can be separated the experiencer is a process or object object all this useless stupid idea has stuffed in the minds of the people so we need to find out a way to get rid of this this ignorance and we need to come up with all kinds of evidences proofs metaphors experiments 